Welcome back guys to another video from me Adam. Now this video is about wiping your server that you've set up. So if this is your first time to my channel or if you're following this server tutorial series then don't forget to like and subscribe. It's going to help me out. So um, I'll get straight into this video for you. So what I tend to do um, before I wipe my server is I go and pick a map. So you can do this by loading up rust.io. I'll put a link down in the description below. And what you do is you go to the map gallery and here we are we've got a load of maps so what we can do now is we can change what size map we want so let's just say for argument's sake we are using a 3000 size map which are these ones here as you can see this one is a 3000 with seed 1 on Baron 3000 seed 1 procedural 3000 seed 2 and so on so on and we can change how many monuments, how many caves and stuff. So you, what you can do is you can go around and pick one. So I'm going to go pick this one here. So 3000 size and seed number one. So that's the one I want. So I can close that down. Then what I need to go and do is I need to go and load up into my server folder. So for me, that is in my C drive. And it's under rust underscore server. Okay, so now that I'm in this folder, um, what I can do first off is I can edit my batch file. And what I'll do is I'll make sure I put that seed in there, ready for when it wipes. When it creates the new map, it's going to create the map that I want. Um, it's currently under that same map file size and seed anyway, but it's fine. We can go ahead and do it again. So what I'll do is I'll right click run underscore DS and click edit. And here we are, we have my batch file that I've made. So what I need to do is just scroll along and there we see we've got world size 3000. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. Um, got my host name, um, server description, URL, banners and images and all that. Um, if you're interested in this custom batch file, um, go see uh, one of my previous videos on how to set up a Rust server. And there is a link in the description to below to get this batch file if you're interested in that and there we have it there we are procedural map so we want a procedural map and server seed I've set to one so that that will load the map that I've selected so I can save that save and, and then close then what we want to do is we want to wipe the map now there are two different types of wipe there is a map wipe which basically wipes the map that you've got. It can so you can create a new one, different terrain, all the buildings are gone, and all the any items that are on the floor are all gone, and all the monuments are in different places. And then there's obviously the BP wipe, which is the blueprint wipe, which basically means that any player that has played on that server and researched any items, any blueprints, um, yet yeah, they won't able to craft them anymore. They'll have to relearn that blueprint. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to do both of them. So for me, I need to go into the Rust DS folder and then I am looking for server folder. And then there's a folder called my server and in there are my previous save files for that map. As you can see, procedural map, it tells you the size of the map that you've created and the size, the seed of the map is the one that you've got the saves for. So if I just wanted to now to do a map wipe, all I would do is I would highlight these two and I would delete them. Boom, I have now done a map wipe. So now when I reboot my server, it's gonna take a bit longer, it's gonna regenerate the new map and start all fresh. But the players that were playing last wipe will still have their blueprints, so which is fine. So what we'll move on to now is if you wanted to do the blueprint wipe at the same time. So in this same folder, there is a file called player.blueprints and it is as simple as highlight and delete that as well. And that is it. You have now wiped your server and you have now wiped the blueprints for all the players that have played on that server and you have pre-selected what map you want to load up for your fresh wipe. So I hope this guy, uh, this tutorial helps guys and um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe like I said before, it's going to help me out massively. Yeah, and I'll catch you guys later.